Hello, everyone. Well, you're home from conference and your eyes are open very wide because you've seen the possibilities that your business, your direct sales business has to offer you. And those possibilities ahead are you promoting to the next level, right? Are you ready? Well, I have a few tips to help you do that today. I'm Gail Bates, and my goal on this channel is to support you in moving up in your business. I help lots of leaders promote to the next level. I help them with my planning strategies and my systems that I developed to promote up to the top of my company. So I'd love you to hit the subscribe button today. And when you do, you'll be notified immediately when my next video is out. I was recently watching a video by one of my coaching clients. And in that video, she shared where how she made a decision to promote up to the next level. And we focused on specific targets in her business and to help her get to that next level. And I will put a link in the description below of that video, because what I want you to understand is that she talked about moving out of her comfort zone and working alongside of her coach and just being accountable every week. And that's really what part of it takes. So you start with the decision you be prepared to take action and you be accountable to a partner or a coach. So I want you to think about that. Is now the time for you to promote up to? Are you ready to make that decision? I want you to comment below if this is you and let me know how you're feeling about that. Are you nervous or are you confident that you can do it? You can promote up to the next level. When I look back at how I moved up the ladder to grow my million dollar team, I had specific targets to get to the next level and I would track those targets every week. And I make sure that the team knew about the targets. And it was basically those weekly targets and my accountability with my coach that got me there. So today I want to share with you five specific targets to help you, if you're ready, that is, if you're ready to move to that next level, I think this will really help you. So target number one is know your specific requirements that you need to hit the next level. So I'm talking about how many personal recruits you need for the next level. What are the personal requirements and the team requirements for sales? How many team members do you need if you get to the next level, when you get to the next level? How many other promoting leaders yourself do you need to get to that next level? Maybe you're heading to the top level. So you need to know all these requirements. But knowing these requirements really gives you specific numbers to target. To move up to the next level, you don't want to leave it to chance and just hope you're going to get there and just moving along. It takes work and it takes planning. So once you know the requirements to target, you will know the actions today. What actions will you take to recruit new team members? What actions will you take to hit those sales volume requirements? So knowing these requirements and what your next level is and getting very clear on the actions that you need to take is going to help you hit those targets targets and move up to that next level. So target number two is to create a timeline. You know, I love to create a goal because I know where I want to go, right? But what I do is I like to work backwards from that goal in creating my timeline. So if I was to set a goal to have five new team members in 90 days, I would start working it backwards. I would map out the 12 weeks of action steps required to hit that target. I would use my 90-day goal playbook method. And that playbook is a freebie for you, I will put it in the link in the description below. But having a timeline of steps to follow to hit that next level where you want to promote to gives you a really clear path to hit your targets every week. Remember I said weekly targets was what really helped me get there. So you really want to make sure that you are hitting those weekly targets along the way and you're going to promote up to that next level. Making that timeline target is really important in getting to promote up to the next level. Let's move on to target number three, which is setting a target to grow your team with business builders. You know, business builders are people who truly want to grow a business and learn how to sell, learn how to book parties and learn how to recruit and move up the ladder of leadership. So the best way to do that is to ask yourself this question. Am I offering a business opportunity or a product with a discount? When you lead with a business opportunity, you will attract the prospects who truly want to grow a business. Now, it's okay to recruit discount buyers, but your focus over the time that you want to promote up is to be mindful in finding prospects who want to grow a business. 
So target number four is about unblocking your blocks. You know, there is a special drive that you need to go to the next level in your business. You know, many times it's those limiting beliefs that kind of hold you back. So the key question to ask here is what is holding me back? And when you identify these blocks or beliefs, they are sometimes surprising. You know, think about it. What stories are you listening to that are in your head that say, oh, I'm just too busy. I can't really get to that. I'm not going to make it because you're too busy. Or I don't know how to build a team. What am I doing? I'm floundering. I'm out there. That's again, something going on your head. Or it's hard to recruit. It's hard to grow leaders. I'm too busy. I don't know how. And it's hard. Are limiting beliefs, okay? Once you recognize what's blocking your progress, you're going to find ways to move through them with help from a mentor, or a coach. Your limiting beliefs could be the one thing that's stopping you getting to that next level. So recognizing what's blocking you to hit the targets that you make for yourself to move up to the next level is the key to promoting to the next level. Target number five is to be accountable to someone. Being accountable to someone actually keeps you focused. Having an accountability partner helps you get things done by a deadline. It helps you stay on target with many little goals that you want to achieve along the way and hitting targets every week, like I talked about. But it is important you have someone on your side, someone to walk alongside with. So your accountability partner may challenge you, but in the long run, you'll begin to see positive results when you have accountability partner. In the Journey to Leadership group coaching program that I have, we have a specific Monday accountability check-in where my clients share with me their accomplishments, their obstacles, and their intentions in moving forward. So I want you to think about that. If now is the time for you to promote up, then now is the time for you to join this program. The link to joining this program is below. So check it out. Okay, five targets. One, know how to hit your requirements. Two, create a timeline where you want to promote up and when you want to promote up. Set a target to grow business builders on your team. Know what's holding you back and be accountable to your targets with a partner, a mentor, or a coach. Lots to think about, but you can do it if you believe in your products, you believe in your company, you believe in this fabulous industry of direct sales, you believe in people who are looking for an opportunity, and you believe in yourself. That's what's going to take you to the next level. So comment below if you are ready to promote up. And if you get value from this video, feel free to share it with anyone you think would benefit from it, especially maybe people on your team. And I'll see you on the next video.